connection, when you bring your self-love and your self-respect and your worth and having self-esteem, you bring that into a connection, then the other person has no choice but to match it. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I honor now. Something about the race of the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't wanna glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Anna. So I wanna talk about boundaries and setting your standard because this is something that I struggled with and still kind of struggle with for a long time and it's definitely a lesson that I'm learning right now and I'm realizing how important it is and how necessary it is and how worthy you actually are of having a standard and of expressing that standard and your boundaries to people you know like this doesn't have to be romantic connections it can be every connection from family friends and intimate romance so like standards and boundaries are so so key and so necessary and I'm realizing they're actually a form of self-love setting your boundary and having a standard that is self-love and I always used to feel kind of ashamed of it and like it was arrogant or I was like forcing an expectation on somebody so I kind of was afraid to assert boundaries and afraid to let my standard be known you know like I would make excuses for people and settle for connections that weren't serving me almost out of guilt because I didn't want to I'm really reading myself right now but I didn't want to like let them go you know I felt like I was being mean to them if I let them go because nobody's perfect and all that kind of thing but this is how we get into toxic relationships and we hold on to things that don't serve us so I want to talk about boundaries and also setting your standard because these are a form of self-love these are key to having a healthy relationship and I realized that like it's actually okay because it's about self-love like you're not taking anything from anyone else you're not controlling anyone else you're just expressing what you need you know and that's love for yourself and there is absolutely nothing wrong with having love and respect for yourself you know and when you bring that into a connection, when you bring your self-love and your self-respect and your worth and having self-esteem, you bring that into a connection, then the other person has no choice but to match it, but to meet it and but to respect it. And if they don't, then they're not in alignment and they can leave, you know? <laughs> so I just realized like actually expressing them is so important and you are so worthy of doing so and it's not trying to control anyone else because when the need to control somebody else, the need to change them and force them to meet your standard, force them to meet your needs and to respect your boundaries, if you have to force somebody to do that then they're not in alignment with you because it's not something that you would ever have to force, you know? And this is what I realized is why I would always feel guilty for it, is because I was forcing the wrong people. They're not meant for me, because somebody that, that is meant for you and that is in alignment with you would not need to change, they would not need to become somebody else other than who they are, you know? Who they are would naturally meet your needs, who they are would naturally respect your boundaries, you know? because they would have that unconditional love and respect for you and for what you need and for who you are and they wouldn't try to cross that. You wouldn't need to change them because they would already be in alignment and that's a key goddamn lesson that I am learning right now that I'm really starting to internalise the understanding of, you know, is that you don't have to change people. You don't have to... Um, feel guilty for a certain your boundaries because it's not about them it's about you and it's about your worth and what you need and what feels good to you in a connection you know and everyone's different and the way that we love is different and like you may witness your parents relationship or a friend's relationship or a parent's separation like you may witness all these things and see how they interact with each other and how all the relate the people in relationships that are around you like you may see how they work and how they don't work and the things that you don't like about their connection you know like it just may not resonate with you but I realize now that like it's not because they're wrong it's just because 
they're together like their connection is something for them whether it's in alignment or not that is a lesson that they're learning and it's just showing you what how you love it's just showing you what you want and what you don't want you know like it doesn't make their connection whether they argue all the time or whether they're deeply in love it doesn't make their connection right or wrong it's just a mirror it's just showing you what you want and what you don't want you know so then when you do meet somebody it's about literally being able to just bring all that you are naturally not changing but all that you already are all that you want to be bringing that to the table and then letting them bring themselves to the table and being able to decide and discern and and like feel your intuition and see whether you naturally align whether what they express there needs to be whether you naturally want to give that like is that something that feels good to you to be able to give is that something that you want to give you know to be able to meet their needs and then when you express yours do they naturally meet your needs you know is there this safe space for you both to be able to communicate and express your needs are you actually able to do that freely like is there that safe space you know and that's literally how you tell whether somebody is right for you because you'll be able to You'll be able to feel it based upon how you can express yourself. And sometimes we hold ourselves back and it's not the other person. Like it's your own fears holding yourself back from being able to express your needs. But then you'll be able to discern that. You'll be able to realise that it's yourself holding yourself back, you know. Because you'll be able to feel your fears. And then you can take that leap against your fear and express it. And then their reaction, you're not attached to their reaction or their response because you can't control that, you know. So you express your needs, they react and respond however they need to and then that will tell you based upon their reaction, that will tell you whether you're in alignment. Because if you are, they will naturally welcome your needs with open arms, you know, and you'll be able to do the same. It will be reciprocated and it will just be natural. I think that's the thing I'm realising most is that this shit would be natural you know, of course, we're not perfect. And not everyone like you're not going to agree with them 100% of the time. So there's always going to be disagreements or things that you kind of clash on and stuff like nothing's perfect. It's not going to be flowers and roses 24 seven. But when you do disagree, it won't like it doesn't have to blow up into a huge thing because you'll be able to communicate, you know, so I'm just realizing that like, you can bring who you are to the table. I think that's the thing that this is kind of leading me to because <laughs> I don't really think about what I'm saying it just kind of comes out how it comes out but I think what I'm realizing is like it's okay to be who you are to express that to to take that and allow the other person to see it you know to reveal yourself to the other person and then let them respond in however they need to you know based upon where their mind is at they're just like it's it's out of your control so let them just respond and then you can see whether what they say how they behave their patterns what they want what they tell you that they want what their values are what they want out of life you'll be able to instantly know whether that matches yours or whether it doesn't and sometimes we ignore our intuition with this like we feel that it doesn't match but we kind of ignore it but I realized that I mean that's a part of the learning process of just accepting yourself really so I really just want to say that when you know yourself and you know what you want and you know what you need like you need to assert that and it's not weird it's not stupid it's not crazy it's not too much it's not over the top you're not overreacting you have to express it you have to be yourself you have to let people know this is what I will and won't accept this is what I need this is what I want this is what I value and let them have the safe space to do the same thing and then trust what you see you know trust what they show you and trust what you feel in regards to whether you can naturally give that to them and whether they're willing to give it to you as well you know whether you have that safe space to exchange basically your needs and meet each other's needs and also respect each other's boundaries of the things that you don't want and that you won't tolerate so that is it for this video thank you so much for watching all my links to my music and social media and everything will be in the description box and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in the next video bye i need a man that will hold me down if
he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around I need a real 